Hello, and thanks for listening to this presentation, which is part of the Quick Takes for Sales Professionals series. Today's topic, cold calling, how to nail the first 20 seconds and engage your prospect. Cold calling to fill your sales funnel with new prospects is not an optional skill for an ambitious salesperson. If you don't do it, or do it ineffectively, you won't hit your numbers next quarter, or the quarter after that. And yet, most salespeople resist it. Cold call reluctance is no mystery. People don't like to get rejected, and that's how it feels when you call somebody out of the blue and they don't want what you're selling. This quick take will help, one, beginners who go about cold calling all wrong and get hammered day in and day out, two, capable sellers who do some things right but still often feel rejected, and three, even seasoned vets who have to really kick themselves to do cold calling regularly. You will learn the number one mistake that triggers a prospect's flight response, guarantees rejection, and fuels cold call reluctance. Number two, why cold calling is not a numbers game. Three, the three parts of a rock-solid cold calling script. And yes, you absolutely need one. And finally, number four, why the best salespeople rarely feel the sting of rejection, even on the coldest of cold calls. Let's start with the number one mistake. The worst thing you can possibly do during the first 20 seconds of a cold call is talk about your products and your company. When you do that, you're making the call about me, me, me. How would you feel if you met a stranger at a party and his first 20 seconds with you sounded like this? Hi, I'm Larry. I come from an old money family on Long Island. After graduating summa cum laude from Harvard, I worked 10 years at Goldman Sachs and now run my own hedge fund. You'd be thinking, how fast can I get away from this guy? Why do people like this trigger your flight response? Because you, like everyone else, are hardwired to seek out people who are interested in you and your well-being. Larry has no interest in you. In fact, your subconscious perceives him as poised to suck the life out of you. But isn't that similar to what salespeople do when they call prospects and say, Hi, I'm Joe from Mega Widget Company. We're the premium global producer of widgets. We're known for our outstanding service and dedicated technical support. I'd like to meet with you and tell you about all the products and services that make us the market leader. The psychological reaction is identical to the one we had with Larry. What prospect wouldn't be thinking, how fast can I get this guy off the phone? Amateurs do this all the time because they simply don't know any better. But even experienced sellers get lazy and make cold calls that are too much about me, me, me. The slightest hint of me talk can trigger a flight mechanism. Fact is, impersonating Long Island Larry is the easy way to go. You're an expert on your company, its products and the benefits you deliver. You could recite a cold call script about me in your sleep. If you make enough me, me, me calls, eventually you'll find a real prospect. Even a blind squirrel finds an acorn from time to time. But the cost of dialing for dollars is huge. Rejection takes its toll. Eventually, it fuels call reluctance. You cut back on the calls. Your funnel dries up. You miss your numbers. There's a better way, and it starts with a simple maxim. Cold calling is not just a numbers game. Quality matters. What's that mean? It means from now on, don't ever make a cold call to someone you know nothing about. Do your homework before every call. That way you never sound like you're dialing for dollars or cold calling an anonymous list. How do you find out about people? Successful salespeople know the awesome power of tools like prospects websites, internet searches, and databases like Hoover's. Look for press releases about new products, acquisitions, new financing, or anything that'll indicate company benchmarks, goals, or how resources are being deployed. Once you've done your research, now what? What do you say in those first 20 seconds that will prevent the flight response and get the prospect to talk to you? You talk about them. More specifically, you make it clear that you're interested in their well-being. You want to help. 
First, a word about scripts. Do you really need one? Yes. Engaging a prospect in 20 seconds, disarming their flight mechanism, is extremely difficult. That's why so few salespeople can do it. You need to spend a lot of time and thought preparing a tight script. Then you need to practice it so it doesn't sound in the least bit scripted. Here's an outline of the script. It addresses the three things the prospect must know before he'll talk to you. One, who are you? Two, why are you calling? Three, what's in it for me? Number one is easy. Hi, I'm Jane Smith from Fleetsoft. People need to know who they're talking to, but keep it short and sweet. Number two is trickier. Do you say, I'm calling because I want to sell you software that monitors your fleet of trucks? That's the real reason you're calling, right? Yes, but if you say that, your call is over. How about this? I'm calling because we have a new transportation software product that allows you to track your fleet capacity better than anything on the market. I'd love to show it to you. A little better, but tracking fleet capacity is a feature, not a benefit. And the prospect will translate, I'd love to show it to you, as I want to sell you and it'll trigger his flight mechanism. The problem is that the seller is still ignoring the third element of the successful cold call. What's in it for me? How about this? Hi, I'm Jane Smith from Fleetsoft. I'm calling because we've developed a new transportation software product that allows companies to increase their average load capacity by as much as 40%. It's a quantum leap technology. Is that something you'd be interested in? significantly better. It says why Jane is calling and promises an attractive benefit that any fleet operator would want. But the prospect couldn't care less about quantum leap technology, which sounds like hype. Finally, the closed-ended yes-no question is dangerous. There's a good chance the prospect will just say no because he feels he's being sold. So, let's get it right. Here's an effective 20-second opening. Hi, I'm Jane Smith from Fleetsoft. I'm calling because we've recently helped a number of transportation companies increase their average load capacity by as much as 40%. I know that at your company and others, there's pressure on margins these days. Can I ask you a few questions to see if there's any chance we could help your company as well? Why does this work? First, notice there's no mention of the product at all. Jane mentions the benefit, reinforcing her credibility by saying she's helped other companies boost their load capacity. Since she researched the prospect in advance, Jane can state with confidence that the prospect's company's profits are off this year, and she knows that anything close to a 40% capacity increase would be like manna from heaven. Then she requests permission to ask a few questions, which will be laser-focused on the prospect's current capacity benchmarks, its performance goals, and how it intends to deploy resources to achieve those goals. Jane will be looking for problems that her software might be able to solve. Stress that word, might. Jane said the purpose of her questions was to see if there's any chance she could help. The humility and lack of presumption embedded in that phrase disarms the prospect's flight mechanism. This salesperson isn't trying to sell me. She's just trying to figure out if we have anything to talk about. If we don't, she'll just go away. I'll give her a few minutes. No matter what business you're in, you can emulate this model, which will instantly separate you from the dialing for dollars crowd, and it will lead to high quality, high conversion cold calls. That means you'll get rejected far less often. Cold calling will no longer be the onerous task it used to be and your sales funnel will be fuller than your competitors. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to check out more programs like this one covering a wide range of critical sales topics, sign up for a free trial to the Selling Essentials Rapid Learning Center. Complete and submit the short form in the right column of this page and you'll get instant access to our complete library. There's absolutely no risk.